Welcome back everyone to Nico Para. So yeah, like, let's do this. Hang on then, let me just go to configure. Let's turn the volume down on these two. They're like way mega loud last time. Okay. Last time, oh god. Okay, oh, here we go. I can do this. I still can't get a hold of her. Were there guests over today? When I checked the clock, it was past 10 o'clock already. Since then, I tried calling Shigura several times, but I couldn't get through to her. And just like that, it had already gotten this late. I've never gone this long without hearing from Shigura. I really didn't understand my family schedule at all. <laughs> Master! Master! It's been a while since we bathed together. I'll even wash your back. No. Wait, we're not going there, right? Please tell me we're not going there. You haven't bathed with us since we matured, Master, you pervert. No, because, wait, what? Why are you calling it, why are you making that face? Please tell me the bath scene isn't here in the demo. Please tell me it's not here. Oh my God, what the hell? You haven't even grown that much. Why are you two talk? What are you two talking about? No, what did you just say? Shigura said the chocolate and vanilla have already grown to be an elegant cat, ladies. Those words of sexual harassment you are trampling on our dignity. Besides, this is chocolate identity we are talking about. Vanilla, you're the one who's changing the subject. In any case, don't worry about the bath. You two need to get ready to go home. Get ready to go home? But isn't Chocola home? Master's home? And I belong next to Chocola. Also, Master is cool. You look strangely handsome. Stop feigning ignorance. You two cut that out. The two of them looked my way about to distract me again. Since Shakur isn't picking up, I'll take you two home. So get ready to leave. Chuck and Vanilla turned away from me and cast their gazes downwards. Returning home on the same day I had moved out seemed to be such a stupid idea that I didn't hesitate a bit. There was no other way, nor was there time for excuses. I looked towards Chocolate and Vanilla as they hung their heads in silence and continued on. Listen up, you two. I'm going to open my bakery and I don't know how things are going to turn out. I've got no one to rely on, so I don't know how things will turn out. With all that going on, I don't know if I can take care of you to get it. I mean, it's already going to be difficult enough just looking after my sit. No. It was a quiet voice. I could barely hear her. Chocolate said something with her head down. Hmm? What did you say? I came closer and asked her to repeat herself. No way! Chocolate won't go back! Chocolate hates Master for saying that! Ah, wait! Hey, Chocola! Don't tell me. You're gonna go after her? I will also make great haste, or rather, I'll withdraw with the speed of a cat girl. Ah, oh, wait, stop! Vanilla, why are you running away too? Come on, come on, Master! That chuckle is over here! Chuckle is over here! <laughs> it's dangerous, so stop running around. If you fall, you'll get hurt. It's unnecessary to worry about cat girls like that. Although we are humanoid, cat girls are cats. Dash! Dash! Maybe so, in Chocolate's case, but aren't you... You bad with physical activity? Come on, I got you now, Chocola. Ah, Master, you perfect! Just where did you think you're grabbing? Master is grabbing Chocola's chest with an iron grip. I'm not. It's because you two are running around. Meow, an opening. Hey, stop that. You're still going to run. Jeez, I got you, Vanilla. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Ah, Chocola, stop. Stop. Uh, Chocola. Nice. Assist. Chocola, go, go. Like I said, stop running! The two of them didn't listen to a word I said as they continued to mess with me. And that was how the first night went.
Why have they got clothes with them? I'm confused. Did you actually go ahead and buy clothes? And why is the head covered in ribbons? Were they covered in ribbons? Sorry, I didn't notice. For now, I'll let you stay, but only for tonight. Her head's also covered in ribbons. What the hell? Why does she need so many? I don't have guest beds or futons, okay? Are they going to sleep in the bedroom? Please tell me they're not. While that was all happening, 11 o'clock became midnight. Even I t even if I took them home, everyone was sure to be asleep by now. The only glimmer of a hope I had that Shakur would call me back didn't happen, so I decided to take them home tomorrow was my first priority. Of course, we'll be sleeping in Master's bed. Oh my god, please don't do this. I will also be okay with Master's bed. Cleverly, they had even brought pyjamas, and conveniently. Just how much planning went into this scheme anyway? Really, if you two sleep there, where will I sleep? What? You're not going to sleep together with us? You tell us that this is late. Master is male, but he doesn't know when to give up. The sleeping arrangement should go, Master. To go, cho Master Chocolate Me. Seriously, are you in love with chocolate or something? Nah, being surrounded by Master Malia makes chocolate happy. Don't get ahead of yourself, you two. A single bed for three people is too crowded. Not to mention weird. Where's this going? Since we're the ones that are intruding, we'll be fine with here too. We can curl up and sleep at cat girls after all. We are very praiseworthy for not asking for luxuries. We are model cat girls. We'll sleep like this then. I watched the two of them lay down and curl up on the floor of an empty room without even curtains. That's way too pitiful a sight to be called praiseworthy. Since you just moved in, you have a lot of boxes, right? Apparently you can make a warm shelter out of them, so we'll manage somehow. That's something only strange people would say. Where did these cackles get this information from anyway? Well, they probably read a lot of books and watched TVs in Jakura's room. Chuck isn't good with kanji characters, so she only reads picture books, though. Oh my god, really? Oh, whatever. You two go sleep in my bed. It still gets pretty cold at night in April, after all. Where's Master going to sleep, then? Next to Chukla? I'm going to sleep on the sofa in the living room, away from you two. The sofa can fit one person, and there's air conditioning in there if I need it. No! If that's the case, then Chukla will sleep on the sofa. Please sleep in the bed with Vanilla Master. I'm more relaxed on the sofa. It's better if Chocolate and Master use the bed. Why are you two determined to get at least one of you in with him? It's kind of weird. They moved quickly towards me like lions catching their prey. I placed my hands on their heads and spoke in a clear and stern voice. Listen up. I will sleep on the sofa and you two will sleep in my bed. Those are your master's orders. Understood. Oh, Master. Master. I said it like that deliberately. The two of them looked as if they wanted to say something, but they hesitated. They lowered their head out apologetically. I'm sorry, Master. Sorry, Master. They mustered out. They looked like they were on the verge of tears. Their obedience had the exact opposite of the effect I expected. It filled me with guilt. I felt a prickling sensation in my chest. The pain left me as I sighed and rubbed the two of them on the head. Come on, get going. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Good night. If anything happens, call me. Call for me right away. Alright. Good night, Master. Good night, Master. I gently rubbed the heads of the two despirited cat girls once more. See you in the morning. With that said, I turned the lights off in the room. Master? Um, Chocolate's really sorry. Chuckle caused you so much trouble. Her vanishing voice echoed slightly in the darkened room. The pain in my heart from before became even sharper. I swallowed that pain and replied cheerfully. It's okay. It's just for one night. Don't worry about it. Master. Nothing. Go to sleep. You gonna talk? Okay, it's far in the morning. I really shouldn't have acted on my emotion, huh? I lay down on the sofa. I sighed while staring at the ceiling. If I gave in to my emotions, the results would just lead to more sadness. If I used kind or hopeful words, they would have all ended up as lies. It's pretty uncool of me to be so passive like this. While I continued to pile 
on insults and make excuses for my actions.